Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we went with a mostly green, pretty much mono green deck with the exception of one card. Uh, I figured green is getting a little more power now. It's got some really good early game creatures so it doesn't just get rolled over by red. And uh, it's late game is always powerful. Green's always been a strong late game. So uh, let's go over and see what we got. Uh, right away, Tail Swipe. One green instant. Choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. If you cast this spell during your main phase, the creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Those creatures fight each other. Uh, very useful on the fly. Very useful using during your turn for giving just that little bump up. It's good for mirror matches. So if it's up against another hammer skull and you drop the tail swipe on your turn, your hammer skull is going to win and live. Uh, second... Bramble Familiar, one green, one other, for a adventure first, but the creature is a 2-2, two -two, tap for add a green, or tap one, tap a green, tap it, discard a card, return it back to your owner's hand. Very useful card as far as saving itself, and useful because it's a 2-2 two -two mana producer. It's adventure side, very expensive, two green, five other for sorcery, mill seven cards, then put a creature, enchantment, or land card from among the milled cards onto the battlefield uh, that can get a pretty powerful return uh, surprising so uh, late game you can pop it back to your hand and then use its ability and then even cast it again so we can keep going um, we have a fair amount of dinosaurs in this one though not really a dino deck but it's enough that the paleontologist ability is useful beyond just eating cards in the graveyard Again, a lot of recursion. I'm still seeing lots of Atraxidex and foolishness like that. Uh, Intrepid Paleontologist is a great card to just eat things from your opponent's graveyard or yours. Should they be one of those like, virtual persistence and they want to take cards of your graveyard, uh, the Paleontologist will gobble it all up. And in the bonus, if it happens to be one of your dinosaurs, you can then recast it. So, a uh, very useful card. Uh, Bloated Contaminator. So I've been looking back at some of the green cards that used to be that were close. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't like Bloated Contaminator is it doesn't have any uh, enter the battle action. So uh, it's a one green, two other, four, four trample, toxic one. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. Uh, it's really powerful up front again. And another card so quick that red decks, which really are the, you know, if they don't let if your deck doesn't let you set up then you can't really show people what your deck can do red decks don't let you set up that's the whole goal things like this just just leave red in the dust they can't stand up to them they just sit there and make red faces at you while you just build bigger creatures um the combo that pretty much if you're playing green a six six for three mana even if you didn't have dinosaurs in your deck i it's hard to say no to this thing it just sits there even and it's not going to be moved very easily and then of course fight rigging giving things plus one plus one putting things out if you have to have a creature of seven or greater for free uh it gets you end game stuff for very little man with this combination um hulking raptor the more i'm playing with this the more i'm realizing this card is pretty darn good uh the three defense always gives me pause i'm not a fan of things that can be killed with one card you know virtue of persistence for example, it's negative three, negative three sorcery ability. But if it manages to make it, first it's ward, so it's going to expense. It's going to be expensive for them to kill it, which means uh, their plans for turns are going to be is hindered. So that's good. You'll derail their plans. It's always good to upend your enemy. Uh, but it also gets mana, and that's where it can just snowball from being uh if you could drop it with this you can get it out turn three and then turn four you're sitting on six or seven mana which means you cast virtually anything else you want uh oger Caslim deepest growth two green three other for a six five trample whenever it deals combat damage to a player reveal that many cards from the top of your library you may put a creature card and or land card from among them onto the battlefield put the rest in the bottom in random order um, when Kaslan dies, return it to the battlefield tapped and transformed under its owner's control, and it comes back as a land tap just for a green or two green or two others and one green. Tap it, transform this cultivation, and 
that activate only if you control 10 or more permanents and only as a sorcery, which then brings it back as a creature. So unless you exile this creature, it's always going to have opportunity to just keep coming back. And in itself can't, counts as a permanent, so uh, it's pretty easy to recycle it. And Trample makes it annoying. The surprise card. And this one I've been playing with more lately, and it's, it's a really strong card. Again, it's a body that comes in with two extra bodies, so that's great for any kind of chump blocking you need or any kind of sacrifice mechanics you need. It's a 5-3 where other dinosaurs have haste and it's not a legendary so it comes in with 201 eggs you can sacrifice an egg to make it a 3-3 creature during your combat turn and it gives all other dinosaurs haste so since it's not legendary you can have two of them out they give each other haste and then they can just really start romping around uh, toss that in that this is also a dinosaur and this is also a dinosaur I have 12 dinosaurs in the deck and if this comes out, it makes these real quick. There's one match I have here where I end up getting two of these out and this. Then it was like turn four, turn five. The game is over. Um, you can't build a green deck without having Nexus. The Skullspore Nexus is too powerful. I'm going to read this again because there's people still not understanding how great this card is. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. So have this guy out on turn two or three three probably in this deck so it makes a six last that means turn four it's only cost two green mana to get out super cheap whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die non-token so anything here that's a creature that dies create a green fungus dinosaur creature token with the base power and toughness each equal to the total power of those creatures so if a six casting cost or six power and a five power dies it comes back as an 11 11 if a two dies and a four dies it comes back as a six six a bonus feature tap two tap it double target creatures power until end of turn also another tricky part so say your hammer skull is about to die you say black's just gonna straight out shoot it happens a lot you turn the nexus on double its power from 6 to 12 a 12 12 creature comes back if it's not exiled it comes back as whatever token creature that's equal to power and if you double its power when it dies then it comes back as that increased power level this thing is disgusting <laughs> again you're going to see another match where dude just lets the creature in don't know what he's thinking doesn't do the maths there it is, doubled, you're dead. A few of those matches, I've won a few matches where I had no right to win. And simply because my opponent doesn't read his cards, I did win. So, I think it's also because the level, I'm playing Platinum right now. I, I'm not one of those ladder-hungry people unless I see a really good deck. This might, I might think this could get you to the Mythic. I'd like to see it up against the Diamond competition because right now, I think you could run through Platinum easily with this. And then the last kind of surprise card, and it works rather well, and it's also a blue hoser, so uh, it always gets bonus points for me. Chai Mill, the Inner Sun. Six casting cost artifacts, so a little expensive. Lots of ways to cast things. I got 25 lands here, I got bonus lands here, and you could also just straight out rigging it. Spells you control can't be countered. That's amazing. At the beginning of your end step, discover five. So I'm gonna, it's just gonna go through um, until it gets to a permanent non land uh, file you five or less. That's everything in the deck. So it will cast anything you run into at the end of every turn. And it does it, can't be countered. I've added up some pretty crazy things here. The Nexus is the only thing that can't come out with it, and usually the Nexus is going to be cheap with you have here anyway. Fight rigging makes things cheaper also. Uh, it just works. It's a really fast deck. Um, the land's pretty basic. Nothing too special. Uh, one basic mountain. Again, this is just mostly mana of mono green. The only mountain source here is just for this hatcher, uh, and that's it. Everything else is just green. So the mountain is in case you need a basic mana, and if someone happens to kill one of your specials you can go grab a, the mana back uh Bojeju, uh who endures again another that green staple you want to just have a land but it's a land that also can kill uh artifact enchantment or non-basic land and it can't be countered wonderful uh basic forest my 
two duels as usual. And then, of course, my Cavern of Souls, because I'm not making a deck these days with at least one or two of them in there. And again, being able to make these things, put them out without being able to counter. Uh, let's just say there's a lot less blue decks I see floating around these days. I didn't really have to change much in this deck. I floated with some of the numbers. I had three Nexus at one point. And I rounded it down. I had only three at one of these points uh, for Hatchers. I rounded it up. It's just too valuable a card to come out with haste. And the haste makes these things just, well, and game enders. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. This was a fun one to make. It didn't take me long at all. Or some decks take me days to play test to figure out. This one I made yesterday. And today it's already winning five or six. Uh, put this thing together. I'm going to go wander off and find another deck that will ruin my ranking. Just for you guys. And uh, if you like what you see here, again, subscribe. I enjoy that. Uh, comment. Hit that like button uh, and uh, hit that notification bell for the next video that comes out. Have yourselves a great day, everyone. Take care. Later. Hey, welcome back, everyone. On our trip once again through the arena, play testing our deck. I like going first. I wish I had three mana. Ah, oh, pressing this with bravery. Your mono red. I might have just given you the game. If not, this could be fun. My own black. Not much better, really. But still, it gives me time to breathe. Right, flashing blades. Oh, you're going to see my sadness. You almost have to take the tail swipe. But anything there is good. He knows if I get one more mana, I'm just going to start running away. But I won't get that mana. Because that would be nice. And there, that negates going first. Pick. Already gave up the advantage. And being black, it's got just scads of ways to kill things. I need four mana, really. Go with the Hatcher, if we are so fortunate. But I need that fourth mana. I've got to be able to attack something if he kills it. So fail boat. Let's go for another one. He's going to click at me, then I'm at least going to stack up. Come on, one more mana. Any at all. I've got through 15 cards. Oof. You're going to be a problem. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Land I've had already. So much sadness. Yes, oh yes, I'm sure. What can I do? We're going to play you. We're going to get a lot of stuff in right this turn. Come on back later. Yes. What now? Bramble familiar? Yes. Just you. And now board clear. No. Strange. You must have a lot in the hand. Wee. Hopes and dreams. What you taking now, bat? I'd take the Nexus of RU, but yeah. Pick. Hey, is that a land? No. You, you, and you. 
In you go. No point in being useless. What a fun board clearing event shall happen now. I am back. And I'm here too. Click, click. I don't know if you want to go this way. But this is the way you have chosen. Yeah, might as well. Pile it right on. Pile it on. Nice and high. Choose one. You. Excuse me. I should have put one more token on him, but whatever. Fun and joy for everyone. He can do ten. Two more is not out of the question. Four cards, three cards to do it. The virtue is not going to make a difference. Learning everything hasty. That's not good. He has to throw. Oh, we threw away a dragon, but he couldn't attack with it, so he doesn't need it. He's just looking to do two extra damage. Yeah. I just got a creature back, so that doesn't matter. But there's his two damage. Or two more, rather. Not quite, right? But now, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think I can still get him, though. There's no way to attack with that this turn. So I'm just going to start making him bananas. Yeah. Game over, Bananas. Nexus once again. Boom! GG Flashing Blades. And here I took a poor start. Thought I was going to do bad. Ugh. No faith. <laughs> Gulp. Alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. Off to the next one. Have a great day. Later. Hello again. Thanks for joining us. We are back into our Magic Arena adventure. Ah, uh, man. Two casting costs, three casting costs. I think we might be able to make something out of this. If not, I'm taking the chance anyway. Because that's what I'd like to do. Alright. Hit, hit me, cork. Oh, sprout. And there goes a card. What are you playing? Big beef. Big black beef. With mana boost. Yeah, you're all over the place, aren't you? Well, let's get ourselves a mana producer who can defend us in these times of trouble. The freebooter just has a free pass to hit me. Scout. He could take me, depending on if he throws something in the graveyard or not. Well, Scout's not attacking. Freebooter will, though. <clears throat> and he will make it. What next? Let's get something big out. Make him do something about it. Otherwise, his game will stall. I have chosen to play the non-land game. Sci-Face. Well, he has black and green. Lots of ways to kill things. But he chooses not to. Not even to throw the freebooter at me. That is fine. Uh, do I have the option to get the hammer skulls? 
Seven out there? Oh, please let me have Nexus. I would like you. Oh. Oh, that's kind of not helpful to the ego. I'm hanging here. <coughs> Next turn, I'll be dropping my Raptor. And then you'll see the Hammer Skull. Yeah. That is the long-term plan, should you let me have it. Urborg repossession. He chooses to do nothing. Hmm. I would like to get more trampley tramples out there. If I attack, will he commit to a lot of things on it? I mean, seven goes over, I can get a lot. Let's go with this to confuse him. Let's attack with you. I know it's going to get him his tap status, but I'm not worried about that right yet. That's it, eh? You just want mana. Alright, whatever, right, you got him. I'm, uh, perplexed. You're down to three cards, so you can have a lot still. Gobble, gobble. What now, kook? Hello, Dreadhound. Whenever a creature dies or a creature cards put in the graveyard from a library, each opponent loses a life. Well, let's get you out of here now, then. So I don't have to lose life ahead of time. Hello. Waving like Forrest Gump over here. So many options. With my dazzling amount of man. Oh my gosh. You know, I really want to land. As sad as that is. Uh, you for sure. And you again. Yeah. Painful. Let's go. He could regret it if he lets him through. He does. Let me let's see your sad face. Oof. Well, let's see. Give me for twelve already. What could happen next? More Dreadhound shenanigans. I don't know if you want to go this way, my friend. That Skullspore Nexus can make trampley, trampley, trample. But I guess you decided to go that route. Well, let's see how fat my Contaminator can get. One, two, three. Dragon, so my hammer skull will stay tapped. And you and you. We block or perish. Quite possibly block and perish. You just saw what it did, right? Yeah, you just pour it all onto him. Nexus power engage. Ooh wee! That's a board clear. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm at six now. You have just an insane amount of things in front of you. Yeah, alright. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Done. Nexus Trample is tough. Hard to stop that if you don't have the answer. So there we go. There's another one in the pocket. Let's go for one more. 
Have yourselves a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Here we go in for more. Hello, Henry Ace. Welcome to Magic Arena. What do we have to start with? Two land, bunch of three casting costs. I can pitch that in. What do you have, Henry Ace? Nice art. So your colors today are... Drum roll, please. Ting, ping, green. Well, a race to the greeniest. Let's run. They're trying fast as well, but I think we might be able to outfast them. That raptor sure makes a big difference. Two mana for free every turn. Their own hammer skull. We're gonna do that and a rigging. A rigging. Which will give us... Do we go with the tail swipe to be able to attack right away? I think so, because he's planning on... Uh, Using that hammer skull very much. And our hammer skull stays alive. Our hammer skull goes away. In we go. Let's turn that speed throttle rate up. Try the next fight rating next turn. Pressure on. Five mana, another hammer skull. Not a bad option. I'm going to play another fight rigging. Comes it rains, right? And this is just going to be ridiculous. You, you, and you. Makes for a very fast turn. It <laughs> makes for game. Well, I think that's about as smoothly run as it could be. Thanks for checking things out. We're probably going to try one more and I think call it a video. So, see you guys in the next one. Later. Magic Arena time. Hello, Haku. Up we go into ranked standard. Going first, good. Three mana, good. Cheap, not bad. Taking it because greed? Probably. Bloated Contaminator, you're up first. If this is a mono red deck, we might have a chance just from your defense. Citadel A. So we're looking at a land deck? Caves, maybe? I do not know, nor shall I question. We're just gonna play our land and move on with the day. Starting with a contaminator. Bloated, even. Black, white, red. Very many colors over there. Well, let's attack first and get that creature kill card out of his hand. And bring out our raptor. So they can bring out another creature kill card next turn. If not, the contaminator's coming out with fight rigging. Or maybe... Deep... No, didn't take the bait. What are you setting me up for? Well, let's get fight rigging out then. Nobody likes to see this card. That seems like a sign.
Do we have... No, she, he wouldn't be able to cast it. The Emperor will not be able to kill the Raptor. Can provide a speed bump. Can't kill it. Ah. What you got, Emperor? You're gonna have to hawk him to pieces next turn. And still use two mana. Oh, and expire yourself. Yeah, that was an expensive card for you, wasn't it? Oh well, well. I enjoyed it. You're done. Still with two land, he can still kill just about anything in red. Yeah, I like him. You'll have to kill him. Now? You want him that badly? <laughs> he wants my enchantment that badly. Over we go! Board clear, next turn. You can have a plick. Also a good card. You really don't like him. So, you can have one. Let's see what we got. A land! You can have. Well, hold on a second. Can I play that land? No, I can't. I don't like the Wanderer, but there's not much I can do, and I don't want to get into a board cleared situation. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to put another one on you. If we can. Yeah, you can stay there. I just need to make her small. My will is steel. All right. Hi again. Just had to make the wanderer small. Start my trample palooza. Deepest growth. Deepest gone. Any of these become a land? No. It wouldn't matter now because you're tapped out. So let's play that game. Get rid of her. Get rid of you. Right? Some more, some more. Now the board clear. You got a weird game, homie. One that might be leading to your street pizzafication. Ooh, he's gonna discover something sneaky. It is. Hello, Elspeth. And a ping to me. I don't know how you're gonna get around the impending squashification of you. We can save but we're certainly gonna try. Can I do it this turn? I don't have to ponder. <laughs> Alright, there's another one. I don't know how many that is now. It's been pretty good. This deck's pretty solid. It's a speed, right? Size of the creatures, quick, fast. Um, if you guys like what you see, as usual, subscribe. Like seeing those little numbers go up. Uh, leave a comment. I enjoy engaging. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Take care. Later. Hello. Welcome back. I know I said the last episode, or the last match would probably be the last, but then I looked at it and I realized I only had four. And I want to try and go for five. So here we go. Rolling the dice. Ooh, they took a mulligan. Going second. Painful choice for Larkham. 
here in our bonus episode. Bonus match. Off to you. Bramble Familiar next. Hammer Skull, turn after that. And if you're a red deck and I'm dropping a Hammer Skull, I will take your concession now. Instead, Bramble comes out and says, or Bramble Familiar comes out and goes, Hi, I'm right here. Shoot me. And the red deck shall acquiescence to that request. And ignore him? What an odd play, Larkum. You must have confidence of many bulls. I think I have confidence of many bulls. I think you are going to be a street pizza. Oh, Larkum, what game do you play? I'm not even attacking. No, I'm hanging right still. Still like cat. He drops a creature I don't like, and I'm just gonna light it right up. Like that chick. Phoenix chick. Yeah, you've confirmed it. Phoenix chick is Phoenix lit up. Goodbye, Phoenix chick. You must just give up now, Larkham. As a red deck, this is not going to be any prettier. Green is almost faster than you now. Like, look at all the options here. It's just all disgusting. Yeah, like, I'm just about to get a free card every turn. I'm not even going to attack you yet. Thank you. Next turn, I'm going to wipe the floor with you. Yeah, see, told you, Larkham. Well, there's your bonus episode. An extra beating on the side for a Romano Red player. Well, I think that's a great way to end a video. Uh, thanks for watching for the extra 30 seconds, or whatever it took for this match. Have a great day, guys, and catch us in the next video. Later.